Wow, if I had a nickel for every time that Hyundai debuted a weird walking car concept, well, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? The Korean automaker turned mobility company just pulled the wraps off of its new Transforming Intelligent Ground Excursion Robotics Experiment, or Tiger X1 for short. It's newest vision for the multi-legged robocar of the future, though maybe not at the scale you might be expecting. Now, some of you may remember Hyundai's last walking car concept, the Elevate from CES 2019. It's gonna be linked down below, but if you missed it, don't worry, I'll catch the rest of you up. Now, like the Elevate, Tiger X1 features four robotic legs with six points of articulation and rotation, all of which connect to a symmetrical body with no obvious front or rear. At the end of each leg is a motorized wheel, and how those parts work together is where things get interesting. Okay, so when the road is smooth, Tiger X1 is able to fold up its legs and move omnidirectionally on its wheels. This is its most efficient and fastest mode, though even in this configuration, it's got a lot more articulation at each corner than your average conventionally suspended vehicle. Now when the road gets rough or blocked, or maybe it's just time to leave the trail altogether, the Tiger can extend its legs to enter a walking mode like some sort of weird crab car hybrid. It can even do a combination of walking and rolling, for example, lifting a leg and then rolling forward to clear a tall ledge. Range and operational time are big old question marks at this point because Hyundai's just not really focused on that right now. They really just want to nail down the whole walking and rolling part of the Tiger concept. Now, unlike the Elevate, which was designed with a four seat passenger compartment in mind, Tiger X1 is designed to be completely autonomous, no humans on board. Plus, it's a small boy. We're talking carry-on luggage small at this point in its development, which is a little bit disappointing because frankly, I just want to ride in the damn thing. However, Hyundai sees the compact size as a benefit, ideal for putting the X1 on these sorts of jobs that you may not need or even want to send a human being. For example, its modular design makes it ideal for unmanned scientific exploration of extreme environments or payload delivery to remote and inaccessible locations or even emergency services like delivering medicine or supplies to a disaster site or a forest fire. Hyundai even imagines the X-1's mission stretching to the extraterrestrial, showcasing the concept exploring the surface of the moon or other planets in its debut video, which maybe explains why it kinda looks like the Mars rover's weird cousin. The small scale also means that Tiger X-1 could conceivably be delivered to and extracted from locations via an unmanned quadcopter drone. That drone could even return periodically to recharge the little bot's batteries. Though this whole part of the concept is the most conceptual part to me, it's a little less believable even than seeing the X-1 on the moon. Even Hyundai admits that the sort of drone technology we need for this just isn't available today. Another neat tidbit is that Tiger X1's chassis, its legs, its wheels, even its tires are designed with additive manufacturing in mind. That's 3D printing for those of us who talk like regular people. 3D printing means that Hyundai's New Horizon Studios, the people in charge of developing Tiger X1, and their partner Autodesk can prototype and iterate quickly and create strong, lightweight parts. The non-pneumatic tires also get around some of the problems that plague air-filled rubber like punctures, sensitivity to temperature, or a total lack of atmosphere. Remember, this thing is designed to eventually go into space. Plus, without people on board, pneumatic comfort just isn't really a high priority. Now, Tiger X1 may be small today, but Hyundai and its New Horizon studios are open to scaling up the design depending on the needs of their eventual customers. Plus, the two teams think that the technology in Tiger X1 is big business. The company recently invested $1.1 billion in acquiring a stake in Boston Dynamics, a company known for its own walking and sometimes even dancing robots, though Tiger X1 predates that acquisition. It's a completely in-house homegrown project. Now, New Horizons is also at work on a variety of other walkable technologies from the future, including exoskeletons for first responders, or robotic legs for the elderly or disabled, or even robo wheelie leg taxis that can reposition their chassis for wheelchair access without the need for a ramp. Your next palisade may not be able to crab walk, but this technology is making its way into our lives one way or another. What do you think? Are you ready for the walking robo car of the future, or is this just more sci-fi concept vaporware? Or better yet, who do you think would win in a fight between the Tiger X1 and Boston Dynamics spot robo dog? 
Let us know in the comments below and make sure that you're subscribed. You won't want to miss whatever other weird transport tech they'll think of next.